Hello my dear friends, welcome back to CSCR.com. In this video, we can discuss the junior scientific assistant previous question paper. Question number 81 to 90. Question number 81. The maximum permissible coliform count in water supply is? We have discussed in the previous classes, we have discussed the water quality analysis for fecal coliform, which are the MPN test and membrane filter test. Then there are so many other tests too that we have discussed in the MCQ. So if you haven't seen that videos, please go and check. Okay. So what is the answer of this question? The maximum permissible coliform count in water supply is the new guideline is there must not be any coliform per 100 ml. Okay. So that we can discuss. It's very upon different guidelines. The permissible coliform count is variable depend upon the guidelines. Okay. That we can. We can have a detailed class on that. Okay. The permissible limit of coliform for water supply, then uh, swimming, okay, bathing, etc. Irrigational purpose that we can discuss. We can have a detailed video on that. Question number 82, which is a polar uncharged amino acid? This question is also we have discussed in our amino acid class. If you haven't watched those videos, please check it. Okay, what is the answer? The one you have seen the videos, just answer it. Which is the polar uncharged amino acid? Answer is tyrosine. Okay. Question number 83. Cancer cells promote angiogenesis by secreting what is meant by angiogenesis that is new blood cells formation. Okay. So which one promote angiogenesis? The answer is VEGF. What is meant by VEGF that is vascular endothelial growth factor. Okay. Vascular endothelial growth factor okay that is VEGF vascular endothelial growth factor question number 84 virus infected cells produce what is the answer that you know what it what it is interferons okay question number 85 which among the following is a highly selective medium okay the question is, which among the following is highly selective medium? That means these four options are selective medium. And which is highly selective medium? Okay, this is a very confusing question. Okay, it's it's really complicated. So, what is EMB agar? That is eosin methylene blue. Eosin methylene blue agar that we have discussed in our water quality analysis classes. Okay, please check those videos. What is Makogi agar? It's also for fecal coliform. It's also for fecal coliform. That is, Makogi agar is for E. coli and other related fecal coliform bacteria. That one is also we discussed in our water quality classes. So, EMB agar and Makogi agar both for, for enteric pathogen. Okay. Then what is DCA? That is deoxycholate agar. DCA means deoxycholate citrate agar. Understood. DCA means deoxycholate citrate agar. D for deoxycholate, C for citrate. Okay, A for agar. DCA agar. It's for enteric pathogens. Okay, this media is for enteric pathogen. Then what is SS agar? What is SS agar? SS agar means Salmonella shikala agar. That is Salmonella and shikala agar. So, which is highly selective medium SS agar because it is selective for Salmonella and Shikala. The other three are for enteric pathogens. Understood. 
SS agar. The answer is SS agar. Salmonella chigella agar. Question number 86. Which disease is known as Hansen's disease? Okay, which disease is called Hansen's disease? The answer is leprosy. Leprosy is known as Hansen's disease. Question number 87. The maximum useful magnification of phase contrast microscope is here. The answer is 1500x. Usually it is between 400 to 1000. Yeah, which is the lowest one? 1500. Okay, so that is the answer. Question number 88. The half-life of copper 64 is? Which is the answer? The answer is 12.8 hour. This is 12.7 to 12.8 hour. Okay, answer. Question number 89. Which of the following is present in normal microbiota of skin? What is the answer? The answer is Pseudomonas aerogenesa. It's a normal microbiota of our skin. That means it's present in our skin. It's a gram-negative rod-shaped bacteria. It's a gram-negative rod-shaped bacteria. Okay, rod shape. Which one? Pseudomonas aerogenosa. Question number 19. An example for attenuated live virus for vaccine. Okay. The first option, we can check the options. First one, SALT vaccine. SALT is the name of the scientist, SALT. He introduced inactivated polio vaccine. Okay, inactivated polio vaccine. Understood. What is the question is? Live. What is meant by attenuated? That means weakened. Weakened what? Understood. Attenuated like virus. The tetanus is caused by a bacteria. Understood. So that is not the answer. The cholera. Cholera is also caused by Vibrio cholera. It's a bacteria. Then what is meant by Sabin vaccine? It's it's the name of the scientist. Sabin means. Sabin means the name of scientist. It's a scientist name. He introduced OPV. What is meant by OPV? Oral polio vaccine. Attenuated live oral polio vaccine. Understood. So the answer is Sabin vaccine. In the coming classes, we can continue this section. Okay. If you like this class, please share and subscribe. Thank you.